Hello, my name is uh, David K. John. I'm from Kayenta, Arizona. It's near the Four Corners. And I'm an artist, full-time artist, Navajo, Bime. And these are my paintings here. And I work with gallery, galleries in Santa Fe, Sedona, um, Scottsdale. And I, I mainly do paintings that are related to the Navajo culture, the, the Neh people, and the history, the mythology, and all that. And through my paintings, I um, want to save the culture, the language, and pass it on to the new generations in the world. And the, uh, my art is more contemporary. Um, so <clears throat> this is what I do. Uh, well, full time. Um, so, here's, these are all my paintings. We're, we're going to show the gentleman's paintings. I, I kind of put him on the spot here. And um, <laughs> here we're going. We'll just start. And you were saying you want to you want to move side a little bit and just maybe explain to people what this painting means. And this uh, is absolutely incredible. It'll be incredible on my video. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, this painting is called. Um, Remembering the people for the Navajos. The Navajo is given to us. It's not our real name. The real name is the Neh, and the Neh means the people. So this painting represents them um, remembering the people. It's the these. The painting is uh, the holy people. Um, the holy people were put on this earth before the, the humans and they created everything, the plants, the air, um, and everything that's on this mother earth. And they created that and then they went back as spirits, uh, their spirits now. So when we have a ceremony, we bring them back uh, as uh, messengers and as deities. So when we do the, the dances and we, they wear the mask to impersonate the holy people, so that's, this is that's what they are. Oh, and so that's some of the masks, then, in other words, the people yes. know that, that they were wearing the ceremonies. Yes. Yeah, and it's only done in winter time, so um, they have like male, female dancers, okay. even little kids dance. So. It's, in, in, I study and I do a blog and everything. It's amazing how close the Hopi Navajo Mayan stories are and similarities. Yeah, just, they, it, 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 especially what you said about the creation story, is what I call it. Yeah, it, it's all related. Um, the Hopis were given a whole bunch of the kachinas, and the Navajos were given only one kachina, and that's the Yevichais, and this oh, is okay. what they are. So, yeah, they're related. Yeah, we, we've established that the kachinas are the aliens, a lot of the kachinas. Mm -hmm. you know, actually, what they, actually what they are. Yeah, you know, they're, 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 they're like yeah. Um, store people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some of them are fruit and plants and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. but, and some of them are entities that created the Hopi and the Navajo and all the stuff like that, the rest of the stories. We'll just keep going around here and showing this gentleman's artwork. Yeah, and then I do like clay, clay pieces. Um, they're all different. Um, Let me get, again to more abstract. It's just beautiful, beautiful stuff here. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows in my videos, I do a lot of traveling around making these videos. And mm -hmm. This is just incredible good stuff here. I like the hummingbird in there, bud. Yeah, hummingbirds are sacred. Uh, they're like messengers, and this particular painting it represents the female, and she's sending out the the birds out to the people as messengers. So. Oh, so she's sending out the birds. Yes. The birds aren't coming to her. Yeah. Like the Hopi and the eagles coming to them. This mm -hmm. is reverse. Yeah. And over here is more hummingbirds. That looks like. Yeah, there's, and then if you look at it, you see different things in here, uh, like the mass. Uh, yeah, I just remind you to speak up so everybody can hear you. Yeah, they're, they're like um, hidden images in there. Oh, okay. Um, it represents plants, uh, plant spirits, and then the hummingbirds flying around. And so, the, and that, and so everybody knows again the hummingbirds are messengers? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then they, they bring good luck and also represents uh, coming in spring. And we'll just keep going here. There's just incredible stuff. Here's the gentleman's name. You want to step around the other side too. And we'll post how to get a hold of this gentleman on my YouTube videos. 
And here's just some more of his work. And, and this is more of a, using a lot of texture. Um, the symbols represent, uh, uh, represent uh, the dancers, but they're taken from Navajo sand painting symbols, but they're more contemporary, uh, my own interpretations, the, the symbols. And always the crosses. Yeah, the cross is more like a, it represents the four directions or. Oh, okay, the, north, south, east, yeah. west, and the universe is hung on four ropes. Yeah. Kind of story like that. Yeah. We'll just walk around some more of the stuff. Um, there's one around the corner that I'm going to post on my blog. Let me sit around here. And you want to explain to people about this painting? This, this one is more of a, represents a male and female, um, kind of like a, a wedding, they're holding a, a Navajo basket, and even the colors are for that, like male and female, the reds and the, the colors, the reds represent the earth, uh, and the blues represent the sky, so it's male and female, and everything has a male and female for us. Um, and here again, we see this, cross with the um... yeah that represents more uh, like the sun uh, the rays coming out oh okay the, the round circle. and the significance of this these represent um uh, lightning lightning we, I put two on there because the the Navajos have two um, twins the twin warriors right right and the, they were, yeah the, the Mayans got the same yeah, right, okay the twins yeah and they were given uh, weapons to kill off the monster to kill the Killing up the people, so they were given weapons, and that's what they were given. The, they were given the lightning, lightning, yeah. To kill them. Was a weapon. And what you call the god again? They're the twins, the, the Navajo warrior twins. The Navajo warrior twins. Great stuff here, just great symbolism. And of course, and on top, um, okay, go ahead. have some uh, sand picture um, on there to represent the, the clouds. When you look at it, you can see different things, different, different images on there. symbols here on the bottom, the, the circle and the square. Yeah, and what are they representing again so people know? Well, there's different interpretations, but uh, they represent emergence or... Time. Emergence from inside the yeah. earth, the hollow earth. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes it represents uh, time, it's like a calendar. You, you see them on a lot of uh, canyon walls. Right, yeah, exactly, on all the tribes. Yeah, it was like a calendar when, when the sun rays... Uh, right, right. Reach a certain line, you know what? what the winter solstice or summer, yeah. summer solstice. And then they had the square and the round, which represents uh, male and female. Uh, and of course, here in the corner is corn. Right? Yeah, corn is real sacred. To yeah, the real sacred to the guys. We use the corn pollen and also. Uh, yeah, the pollen dance the and stuff like that. Right? Yeah. So. This one is. Uh, there's a lot of symbolism there. Kind of like the cross, double cross thing represents uh, dragonflies. So dragonflies are more like a messenger's tool. The thing represents the dragonfly deity. Incredible. And here we go again. Any, uh... Again, this is the, the dancers, but they're more like uh, spirits. And coming out of uh, maybe the earth or the sky and it has a female, a male, maybe a young child, a dancer. And then this piece here is um, represents the ocean or the water. You can see the, the waves coming out. And everything on this earth has spirit, so what I'm trying to do to this uh, interpretation is water is really sacred for us. So they have spirits. So this particular painting represents the spirits of the water. You can see the, the images on the uh, water turn into uh, the dancers or the spirits. From there. I have to say, I think you're the best Navajo artist I've ever been part of. Not truthful with it. I mean, I travel all over the world and see it. And trust me. And one more down here at the bottom, sir. Yeah, they, these are some of the new pieces I'm doing. Uh, this, this, uh, 
working with um, landscape and more like spirit, spirit images, uh, travel. Um, these are like protectors of the Mother Earth and the, some of the, the traditional teachings. They say that the Mother Earth is real sacred, so they have spirits and we, we do prayer and offers to them and just kind of like what it represents as a family. <coughs> Um, I want to thank you, bud, for doing this for me. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, once again, your name? David K. John. From Cayente, Arizona, and God bless you and thank yes. you, bud. Okay. Thank you. One more little pan around here to give people an idea of where we're at in your little booth here. And we're at the Museum in Northern Arizona for the, um, the Navajo showing they do once a year up here. So uh, as I always like to say, God bless and enjoy. Bye-bye.